Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will give you a tour of the Library of Birmingham located at the center of Centenary Square on Bow Street. I will take you to the main areas of the library, so the reception, different floors. Um, so we are not going to visit every areas of the library, just the main ones. Not far from the library is Baskerville House and the Hall of Memory. On the right hand side is the Freedom 50 exhibition to commemorate the independence of Bangladesh in 1971. The Library of Birmingham opened on the 3rd of September 2013 and it cost a whopping 189 million pounds. On his first year, he received 2.4 million visitors. Malala Yousafzai opened the library and Prince William gave it the royal seal of approval. This is a gift shop. In here, you will find different types of cards, book notes, books on Birmingham history, uh, pencils and any type of things that you usually find in a gift shop. The Library of Birmingham replaced the former Central Library, which was demolished soon after the makeway for the 700 million Paradise Development Scheme. The former Central Library was built in the 1970s and closed in July of 2013. The library opens Monday and Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. From Wednesday to Saturday, it opens from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and it is closed on Sunday. The library is 31,000 square meters, which makes it the largest public library in the UK and the largest public cultural space in Europe. To become a member, you have to register to receive your library card. You can join online or in person, and you can join at any age and it's free. You don't need to live within Birmingham to have a Birmingham library membership. And you can use your library card at any library within Birmingham library service. The library was forced to cut its opening hours dramatically within two years because of budget pressures. After initially opening for 73 hours a week, its hours were slashed to just 40 a week by the start of 2015, and half of its 188 staff were axed. This is the lower ground level, and here you will find travel books and cooking books, mostly. We are reaching the teenage section. Here you will find science fiction and fantasy books for teenagers.
down there is a children's section. I don't think that I ever been there before. Um, I don't really uh, go to the library that often, but when I go to the library, I have my spot, which is the third floor. So I, it's not a place that I usually go to. And I don't have children, so I don't really have a reason to come to this section. The library spreads over 10 levels. The building comprises a spacious entrance and foyer with mezzanine, lower ground level with indoor terraces, four further public levels and two outdoor garden terraces, a golden box of secure archive storage occupying two levels, offices for the staff, and a service plant on the further two levels and at the very top of the building, a rotunda feature housing the Shakespeare Memorial Room. This floor houses the privately operated Brass House Language Center.
let me give you a little bit of information on the services. You have access to the library material, you can borrow the majority of the books, you can register with the library and have access to the reservation service, you have access to the study space, the Wi-Fi, the computers and printing machines, and the staff is available if you need help. In the library, you'll find international collections of archives, photography, and rare books. The facilities include a state-of-the-art gallery, a flexible studio theater, the Shakespeare Memorial Room, which is one of the world's largest Shakespeare collections. There is much more in this library than what your eyes can currently see as 60% of the stock is in the storage area. Up there is the archive section. It's a place that I use a lot right now to do some of my videos, the past and present of Birmingham. And there are a lot of books about the suburbs of Birmingham. And before I used to actually buy those books, and then I realized that the library had some of them. So, um, so I'm going to use the library way more now, knowing that I can have so many information there.
this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour and if you did, please like the video. Have a nice one and see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha